Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook they're drawing ornaments, and the ornaments are cutting the the outside before it cuts the inside hole for the hanger. And that's not that big a deal, but it could cause a problem if your wood if your wood is a little bit warped and the the piece falls out. It could possibly move a little bit, but it would be up at a different focus. So we're going to draw an ornament right here, just a round ornament. We're going to make it five inches. And then I'm going to draw a quarter inch hole, or about a quarter inch hole. Um, let's go 0.3. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to take my ornament and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to hit T like in top. I'm going to change my nudge distance to 0.25. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to move it down 0.25. Now that is a quarter of an inch away from my top, which would be plenty strong. Now let's zoom in here, and here's the trick. Let's go to Windows, Dockers, Object Manager, and we have two ellipses. The first one is going to be the outside cut. The laser, my laser, I'm not going to say everybody's laser, everybody's print driver does that, but I would have to be that it is the same. It's going to cut the outside circle first and then the inside circle. It's going uphill. Don't ask me why or what it, why it's doing that. But what you can do right now is take that outline and slowly move it. I'm getting a little bit of trouble here. To the bottom of the other one. So now it is going to cut the, the hole out first and then cut the whole ornament. But here's another little thing to think about. If you duplicate that, so our ornament is 5 inches, we're going to change our nudge factor to 5.5. We're going to select them both. We're going to make a duplicate. We're going to move it over. Now it's going to cut this one first, but it's going to cut that one second, that one third. It's going to cut all the little holes first because we put them in that order. And then it's going to go, and if you can hit your tab key, it'll go through your, in the order it's going to do it. See, so it's starting at the bottom. So, to eliminate that, before you do anything, before you duplicate it, make a group of this, control G. Then, control D and make a duplicate of it. Now, you've got groups, but you can ungroup them to just to see. So, we're going to go right here to object and ungroup object. Now, that hole is the very bottom. The next... So it's working in backwards, but we're going to go up. I was pressing the tab key, and it really doesn't give you an idea. But let's click on this one, and now let's go uphill. It's going to cut the inside, the big one, the inside, the big one, the inside, the big one. It's going to cut it in the order you'd want to cut it. So you need to group them together. Then you've done group them to actually see what's going to happen. But that should help you. That should solve your problem. It's just when you're drawing it. You need to put them in an order first. and Because you do want this hole cut out first. Uh, even with flat wood, it would just be better. Um, but then you can just go and you can see it. Instead of cutting the little holes, it's going to cut little big, little big, little big in the right order you need to cut. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.